Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back. So today I thought while I sit down and get ready we could have a little chat. I have received some comments as of late that have made me feel a certain kind of way and I want to talk about them. So as you know or maybe you don't know but I have been creating content online for seven years now. Uh, so it has been a long time and obviously when you put yourself out there, you know, you're gonna get negativity and you're gonna get comments from people There's gonna be people that don't like you, you know, you cannot please everybody Sometimes I wonder if you can please anybody <laughs> So I am absolutely no stranger to receiving, you know, some negativity and it's never bothered me but I received, I want to say, the most outrageous comment that I have ever received in the whole seven years of doing this. And I received this comment about three weeks ago, or should I say DM. I received this DM on Instagram about three weeks ago and it is still playing on my mind. So if that doesn't communicate to you as well, how when you leave, you know, a comment or you directly message somebody, a lot of the time they are going to see it. You know, there is a person on the other end of the screen and you don't know what damage or what effect you could be having depending on what you're saying you know oh my god where do i even begin i don't know where to start okay just popping on in to thank fabletics for sponsoring today's video for the month of march you can get up to 80 percent of absolutely everything on site along with any two trousers for 24 pounds we're in march now so of course it is finally spring i love this time of year so so much so of course we still have our leggings you know here we have the power hole leggings in navy along with the oasis twist sports bra which you guys know i have been raving about this sports bra for years on end and if you do not own one by now what are you doing they come in so many colors and they are the most flattering sports bra i've ever put on my body and i know you might think that it doesn't look supportive because of how flattering it is on the girls but it is extremely supportive they stay put so if you need a sports bra that's going to give your girls a lift or you're on the smaller chested side, then this is the perfect sports bra for Then you. their power hole leggings are the most compressive leggings that Fabletics do. So if you like something that holds you in and is extremely flattering on your body, these would be the leggings for you. Since we are now in spring, they have brought out ranges of cycling shorts, which I absolutely love. So here we have the Stride 9 high-waisted short. And I just feel like this is the perfect length of a cycling short. I feel like sometimes they can be slightly too long and slightly too short but I feel like these are just perfect and then to match this set which I am so obsessed with we have shimmer hiking jacket as you can see how gorgeous is she I just love this so much I love everything about it it covers your bum which is just chef's kiss for me in a jacket like this I just feel like it's so flattering just to like come down just below where your bum ends I also feel like the fit of these jackets is extremely flattering because they're kind of like oversized it says it in the name a hiking jacket but I literally just feel like these jackets will be perfect for going for hikes it's something me and Jeremy would want to do a lot more of this year is going for hikes around Ireland and I know for sure these are going to be coming with me we also have this jacket in a grey shade as you can see here so they have got this jacket in multiple different colours so whatever kind of vibe you like if you like something more colorful and bright like the blue one or you like something more neutral then we also have the stride nine high-waisted shorts in this gray so again these shorts come in a bunch of different colors whether you like color or you like something more neutral they have something for absolutely everybody honestly if fabletics have no fans then i am dead i just cannot tell you how much of a lover i am with fabletics like anytime you see me wearing active wear this jumper is fabletics it is always fabletics like i am well and truly in love i just feel like the quality of the clothes along for how affordable they are there is no other brand comparable to them on the market out there and as i said you can get up to 80 percent of absolutely everything on site at the minute along with any two trousers for 24 pounds and that is not just any two leggings you can mix and match you can get a pair of leggings and a tracksuit bottom for 24 pound or a legging and a cycling short for 24 pounds i will have a link down below in the description box so you can go and have a look around and shop if you want to but thank you so much fabletics for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to my little rant <laughs> so three weeks ago i posted an Instagram story and all I said in this Instagram story was I don't know what's in the air lately but your girl is going through it how have you been how are you doing and I left a little question box so I gave no context you know it was a very general just I've not been doing great you know I've always been very open and honest with you guys because I feel like there's enough 
my life is great, my life is amazing, I feel amazing online, that I like to, you know, show that vulnerability and like tell you guys when life isn't great, when I'm not feeling great, because that is the reality of life, you know, nobody's life is perfect, nobody's life is amazing, as much as people want to portray it that way online, you know, so the reason I'd also put up that story, you know, I was dealing with my health stuff, which I hadn't yet spoke about online, and yeah, I was just open up conversation for how people were doing. But anyways, <laughs> lo and behold, I got a DM from a girl. And I just want to say that this girl didn't even follow me. So I don't know if she was a hater. I don't know if she had just unfollowed me. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. But that's our first point, okay? So the DM that she sent me read, girl, don't girl me. Don't you girl me with what you're about to say. Girl, please don't ever consider having kids. Honestly, it is so tough, so challenging. And if you already struggle this much without them, dot, 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 just don't, period. Well, 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 you have sent that message to the wrong girl, darling. Oh, I let my concealer set on too long. So as I said, I don't know if this girl has ever followed me, but let's just get some facts clear, right? <laughs> Since I came out of the womb, I have wanted to be a mother. I have so desperately always wanted kids. I am extremely maternal. I cannot wait to be a mother. I know I am going to be an incredible mother, regardless of what you or anybody else has to say about it, okay? Second of all, I have PCOS. <laughs> I don't know how hard or how difficult it may be for me to have babies, you know? so. They're just some facts straight away, you know. When you message somebody on the internet, you don't know what they're dealing with. Like, this is the most outrageous thing anybody has ever said to me. And maybe it's just because the topic is one not so close to my heart. Like, if somebody tells me, you're annoying. Like, I don't take that personally. But if somebody's gonna mess with my babies <laughs> that I don't yet have, I'm gonna take it personally. Because it's such a personal topic, right? And I know these days, more now than ever, there are so many women who are deciding not to have kids and are being child free by choice. And I think that's absolutely incredible. Like I love that we now have more choice than ever. And if we don't wanna have kids, we have that option. We've never had as much choice before as we now have. So I feel like that is such a blessing. And yeah, if you don't wanna have kids, I don't think you should have kids. Like that is the right thing for you. But equally, even though we have a lot of choice now, if you want to have kids, you should have kids. If you are maternal like me and that's something you've always wanted in your life, I think you would be crazy not to have them if that is something you want to have, right? And I think it's absolutely insane for either party to tell the other one that they shouldn't or they should have kids. Like I would never try and encourage somebody who doesn't want to have kids to have kids because that is their own choice. But to message a stranger on the internet who is a mother, this is what I can't understand. This woman is a mother. Oh my God. <laughs> Messaging another woman saying, please don't ever, as if me having kids is going to be the most terrible thing that ever happens to this world. As if I would not be a good mother. Like it is just the most insulting thing that anybody has ever said to me. I think what infuriated me the most about this DM was the fact that she said, if you already struggle this much without them, just don't. As if, like, somebody who suffers with their mental health is any less capable of doing things in life than someone who just, say, maybe doesn't have mental health struggles. I am so sorry, but if you suffer mentally, like I do, like a lot of us do, and I'm not being funny, I think every single person in this world suffers mentally, and if it's not in their teenage years or their 20s, maybe it's going to be in their 40s or their 50s or 60s. Like, we're all going to struggle mentally. Life is difficult. With or without kids, life is hard, you know? It's not easy. But if you suffer mentally, do not let anybody, your mother, your father, your friend, your sister, a stranger online, anybody tell you that you are not capable of doing something just because you suffer with your mental health. I've always been very open and I've suffered with my mental health since I was 14. But I've also been actively working on my mental health since I was 14, you know? So that's like 12 years now. <laughs> 
So, you know, I'm also very aware of my shit and I'm actively and have been actively working on my shit for years. And, you know, as are many people in our generation now, you know, more than ever, like we are more self-aware than ever. If that's a good thing or not, some days I question. <laughs> I don't know if humans really should be as self-aware as we've become. But anyhow, you know, we are very proactive as a generation on, you know, not passing on generational trauma. But they're really asking themselves, is this something I want or is it not, you know? And I think that's great. Like, I think it's amazing that we're not just jumping into having kids because it's what we think we're expected to do. Like our previous generations, you know, they didn't have any choice. So in her message, she also said, honestly, it is so tough, so challenging, right? I know having kids is not going to be a walk in the park. I know it is really difficult. But along with it being really hard and difficult, it is also extremely rewarding and extremely fulfilling. I also feel like if you're somebody who wants to have kids and you suffer with your mental health, it's gonna be nothing but a positive. Like I've seen it firsthand with people because having kids, it forces you to slow down. It forces you to be present. It forces you to be grounded. It forces you to have your shit together. Like some, there's someone relying on you. You know, it forces you to show up every single day because somebody is relying on you. Having somebody that I can pour all my love and all my care into I don't see how that would be in any ways a negative thing for my mental health I have so much love to give <laughs> I am so maternal I love taking care of people and like another point is as well like having kids it forces you to stop being selfish like your life is no longer about yourself your life is about your kids you know and I think that's only a good thing like when I think of me personally like I don't want to be selfish for my whole life like I want to be able to pour everything I have and my focus into these little tiny babies and help them navigate the world kids and have their own struggles too like my goodness I I struggle as a kid you know and I want to be able to help my babies navigate the world and show them that you know yeah life is hard but you can get through it you know and you can find ways to manage it and deal with it how and is that a negative thing you know because I have so much experience when it comes to struggling and suffering in this life as in like with my mental health like with depression and anxiety I also feel like that comment is such an outrageous thing to say from one woman to another given that you don't know maybe you were sending me that message maybe I had already lost a baby or maybe I can't have kids full stop and sending someone a message like that could make someone's mind spiral what that could do to someone's mental health like you're talking about if you already struggle this much and then what do you think you're doing by messaging somebody that online especially you know woman to woman like we're biologically driven to have kids if that's something you want to do like you cannot get rid of that urge in you like that urge has been so strong in me since i was literally a teenager i've always just been desperate to have my own kids for so many reasons for me personally you know what matters in my life is relationships it's the people in my life that is what i feel like life is about we all have our own priorities in life and what matters to us and what we want out of life and you know when i'm lying on my deathbed i'm not going to be like oh i wish i took that promotion or oh i'm so glad i earned this amount of money i'm going to be thinking about the people that were in my life the time i spent with the people i love you know that's what's going to matter to me is the relationships that i nourished because one thing for sure is we need each other like we need people you know and family is and has always been so important to me extremely important to me the people in my life is literally all that matters to me like I would go to the ends of the earth for the people I love I also think it's extremely ignorant you know to be like if you struggle this much now it's like I'm not pregnant right now like I'm not having a baby right now like who's to say that I'm going to be in the same place I am now when I have a kid you know so much can change in the next like three to five years um, just the same way somebody can be so mentally well and then they have a child and then they experience postnatal depression so are you saying then that, oh, you can't do this because you're struggling? No, that's part of life. Like, life is literally a series of ups and downs. It is a goddamn roller coaster. And we all have our battles and we all have our struggles. And none of them 
are going to be the same and we're going to struggle at different points and them struggles are going to be different but none of these things makes you any less equipped or capable of being a parent if that's what you want i think the only people who shouldn't be parents is if you don't want to be a parent the worst home for a child to come into is one where it's unwanted <laughs> And like, if a child is going to be cared and loved and everything poured into them, then why is somebody not deserving of being a parent? Obviously my sister has two kids, so I have a niece and a nephew and I've even witnessed it with them. Like when I'm with them, it's like my brain just switches off because even in the sense of when you're with kids, like you literally are living through their eyes. You know what I mean? Because the world is so like exciting and new and like they have so much joy about everything in them and it's contagious it is so contagious and to me that's what I feel life is about our relationships with one another and you know having a family has always been just the biggest dream of mine like it's just the one thing in life I have never questioned I have never doubted I have never second guessed and I have <laughs> doubted and second guessed pretty much every other thing in my life and if that doesn't tell me that one day I am destined to be a mother <laughs> I don't know what does I'm so passionate about this I don't even know what I've done on my makeup I, I haven't a clue I think I'm doing some of the same steps twice <laughs> because I'm just not focused on what I'm doing at all <laughs> Oh my God, I am sweating talking about this. It's just worked me up to no end. Like I've never in seven years of doing this, I've never had somebody say something that has stayed with me for so long. And the fact that it's this topic, like I'm not even surprised, but I also just feel like um, if you are a good parent, you know, I know there's gonna be some really difficult teenage years like where, you know, your child won't want to do with you. They, will probably just hate you. But if you're a good parent overall, you're gonna have a relationship with your kids when they're adults. You know, it's it, it's gonna continue. It's gonna blossom into a relationship. You know, like I went through some really difficult years even with my own mum when I was a teenager and we're so close now. Like we're so, so close now. And I'm so grateful for the relationship that I do have with my mum. And I just think relationships between families are so beautiful and they're so irreplaceable. And don't get me wrong, I know it's not all rosies and butterflies, but I know that, you know, and I think that's the most important thing is like, whether you do or don't want to have kids, you need to look at all sides of it, you know, take in all the factors and make your decision based on that. And that's what I've done, you know? I know, you know, there's gonna be some really difficult times, some really difficult years, but it's still the only thing that I want to do without a doubt. <laughs> Not the only thing I want to do, you know, but, but it's still something that I so desperately want to have in my life one day. Also being able to see, you know, this tiny little baby, what you birthed it. Like, first of all, how incredible the human body is. Second of all, as I said, how we're literally biologically driven and designed to have babies and give birth. And if that's not something you want to do, I'm all for that. Don't do it. But if you do, like I'm saying, it's in our nature. You know, you always see people online saying, you know, if you're not ready to stop being selfish, like don't have kids or like, you know, if you're not ready to like make all these sacrifices, don't have kids. Like I can't wait to be less selfish. I can't wait to make sacrifices for like another little tiny baby. I can't wait. I feel like it's extremely rewarding. And then being able to see this little baby grow up and you know, you help them learn to walk and talk and through all their milestones and how beautiful that is. And I just feel like it gives you so much purpose if you're someone who wants kids. Like, I just feel like being a mother is my purpose in this life. I feel like I am destined to be a mother. And I know a lot of people feel that way. And I know there's a lot of people who feel the other side of it, but my goodness, just why are women tearing women down? Why are we still tearing each other down? Like, why can't we be supportive of one another? I feel like it's nearly worse than ever. I think with the internet and the way, like, you know, as a society become a lot more open about a lot of topics, but, I just feel like people are just so bitter towards one another. You know, maybe she was having a hard day parenting or, you know, whatever was going on. But then to lash out at another woman and regardless of how that makes her feel, I just, it could never be me. Like, I could never. So to summarise it up, I would say, please don't be that person. And like, I feel like a really good 
point to make is if you're scrolling online and you see something that makes you feel a certain kind of way for example a 10 second story i put up of saying i don't know what's in the air i've been going through it no context you don't know what's been going on in my personal life you know that story of mine made her feel a certain way to message me that but it had nothing to do with me you know really there what i said made her feel a certain kind of way and i feel like she kind of lashed out at me then but like maybe that was that she's not having enough help with the kids maybe from her partner or maybe she's overworking herself maybe she's burnt out and like i feel like a lot of the time when someone's content or something someone says online makes you feel a certain kind of way a lot of the time it's nothing to do with them it's something that's arising within you and you need to ask yourself what it is like you know I've never left a hate comment to somebody or even like a condescending comment like that's not criticism like there's such a difference between you know giving someone you follow criticism and then just being an arsehole and that's just being an arsehole and I've never ever well I've never left criticism to anyone either to be honest with you but before you leave a comment ask yourself does this actually have anything to do with them or is this something that's going on inside on in me because a lot of the time it is something that's going on inside of you you know oh my goodness I have spoke about that a lot longer than I thought I was going to speak about it oh my god I've literally been on a rant for an hour oh my goodness okay my darlings I'm going to wrap it up here because I have been ranting for a god damn minute but don't forget that there is a link to babletics down below and if you have any thoughts or comments on what we just chatted about please do leave them below i would love to hear your opinions and yeah just thank you for watching i love you all so very much and i can't wait to see you all in my next video bye bye friends